What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Tomatin, 18 year old Highland Scotch. This company, Tomatin, is on fire right now. Uh, that's the best way to describe it. They literally seem to be producing uh, hit after hit after hit. Um, these are still the older bottles. That's what is available in Ontario. Um, but the newer shaped bottles are a little bit more rounded. They're a little bit more modern looking. Pretty cool actually. Um, they'll be available shortly. There's a couple expressions that are already available. There's the uh, 2003 Oloroso cask strength that's available in Ontario. And that's the, the new shaped bottle. But the 12, the 14, the 15, and the 18 are still all the older versions. So for you collectors out there, if you're interested, you probably want to pick up a bottle of the 18 or even a couple of the other ones because when the bottle changes, these become a vintage, all right? Once they're gone, they're gone. Um, stuff like that is where you find people that have a niche interest in a, a particular product and will be willing to pay a little bit more to have it on their bar or collection okay so if you are interested pick up a bottle um, if you're interested in just drinking it I highly recommend it and I'll tell you why in a second um, so I emailed the distillery let me pour this out and I'll tell you a little bit more about it I emailed the distillery and um, they sent me back a bunch of information which I'm sure they're happy to share because it it's information that's gonna that's the reason why tomatin or tomatin it's tomatin because it rhymes with satin um, is so popular right now. Okay, um, first off, they were awarded a 92.5 by Jim Murray this year, the 18 year old. This particular product. Um, Tomatin, the distillery, won Distiller of the Year. I'm not sure who organizes that competition and if it's just Scottish distilleries or if it's worldly distilleries, but Distiller of the Year in Scotland is a pretty damn good award, so uh, that's a great award. Um, this particular 18-year-old won a double gold this year at the San Francisco Spirits Competition in 2016. Um, and they're just winning all kinds of awards. I forget some of the other ones, but in 2014, they won a gold in another spirit competition. They're winning awards left, right, and center. Um, and it's well-deserved because they make a great product. Most of their products are unchill filtered, uh, no added color. This one in particular is unchill filtered, no added color. The 14-year-old as well. The, I believe anything after the 18-year-old as well the only ones that are not are the 12 and the 15 for some reason. I'm not 100% sure why, but um, I guess it doesn't really matter because the rest of their stuff is fantastic. This is aged in traditional casks for 15 years. Then 85% of it is moved to first fill Oloroso sherry casks, and the other 15% is uh, moved to refill Oloroso sherry. I'm not sure why that particular uh, percentage of you know 85, 15, three years, um, but it works. Whatever they did, it works. It's really, really good. Um, the Oloroso is super, super sweet. Um, that's not usually the case for Oloroso. It tends to be a little bit more on the fruity side, less on the sweet side. This is almost PX sweet. Uh, for those of you that don't know what PX means, that's Pedro Jimenez casks. It's a type of sherry. It's a lot sweeter than uh, an Oloroso sherry. Um, but I felt like when I was tasting it, I knew in my head that this is Oloroso sherry, but I felt like I was tasting a PX sherry because it's so sweet. So um, I'm going to nose it, taste it, and give it a grape. All right, I don't know if you can tell, but... We're looking at a gold, a dark gold, amber, all right? Um, maybe amber plus 
one, two maybe. Uh, it's not it's not extremely dark, but it's got some nice darkness to it. Okay, the legs on this glass are unreal. And if you notice, for those of you that are um, paying attention, I'm using my old Glencairn glass. I've decided that although I really like the Norling glass, um, there's too many people out there that don't know what it is. So in order for them to feel that I'm giving a fair shake to the whiskeys that I'm trying, I want them to know that I'm trying the whiskey in both my glasses. So the Glencairn glass gets probably about 50% of the, the whiskey I try just because I want to see if there's any differences. I will say there are some differences. In the, Nor in the Norling glass, I notice it's not as sharp on the nose in the Norling glass than it is in the Glencairn glass. I don't know if that's something that people are interested in, uh, like having a sharper alcohol smell, um, but you're definitely getting more of that here. Okay, uh, the Norling glass seems to cover that up somehow a little bit more. Um, the other thing I would say is the taste from the Northern Glass, again, it somehow removes some of that alcohol burn. I'm not exactly sure what's causing that to happen, but whatever Norlin did to, like, their research behind creating that product, they created it for a person that doesn't tend to like that alcohol burn, doesn't tend to like that that uh, sting on their nose or on their palate, okay? There are people that strive for that. That's why there's a lot of people that are buying cast strength whiskey because they love that type of sensation. Not everybody does. I gotta say, personally, I like the Norlin glass slightly better right now, but that could change. I still like my Glencairn glass. Anyway, on the nose. Super sweet, super fruity, figs, raisins, a lot of dark fruit, dried fruit. I'm gonna say even dates. It's super sweet on the nose. Some dark chocolate. There is a touch of an alcohol bite on the nose. Uh, it's bottled at 46%. That could be where that's coming from, but it's not overbearing at all. It's still very, very pleasant. On the palate. On the entry, you do notice that 46%. It takes presence. Um, I find that to be the case with all of the um, Tomatin bottlings that are above 43% so far anyway I haven't had the 21 I haven't had the 25 I haven't had the 30 so that could change with those ones but the, anything bottled at 46% that's a Tomatin I'm noticing has that bit of alcohol burn that, like I said earlier that's not a bad thing okay this tastes fantastic on the entry it's sweet has a long finish the finish is still going okay but a drop of water definitely would help this situation from the, the just removing that slight alcohol burn okay okay the dates the figs raisins that dark dried fruit sensation that I mean taste um, definitely comes through on the palate it's a touch oaky but not overly uh, and the oak actually turns into like a dark chocolate type taste almost somewhere between a dark and a milk chocolate the finish is all dark chocolate and it lasts a while After you take, which is usually the case, after you take a few sips, that alcohol burn definitely subsides substantially. And you're just getting the flavorful, older, uh, unchill filtered, good, 
scotch taste. Okay, so man, this is a really good scotch. Um, I recently have done quite a few 18 year olds. So I did the Tomatin 18, I did the Glen Morangi 18, and I did the Macallan 18. Um, you probably have seen these videos. If you haven't, I recommend you check them out. Um, price wise, in for I'm gonna tell you what I paid for them and uh, just go from there. So, 140. So that's 140 dollars Canadian at the LCBO. This one is 200 Canadian at the LCBO. I think I got it for a bit cheaper uh, in the UK. This one is no longer in Ontario very scarce across Canada if any um, you can find it in the United States pretty much anywhere I don't know why that is uh, the United States is spoiled I'm jealous um, you can find this for about 200 American which uh, after you know the dollar is I think 77 cents right now the Canadian dollar is 77 cents so um, you know I'm not gonna do the math but that's about another $23 every $100 spent. So you're looking at 46 bucks extra, all right, on a $200 bottle. So about 250 bucks, depending on what the exchange rate is at that day, on that day. Um, Value-wise and possibly taste-wise, the Tomatin is the best, all right? Uh, second, in my opinion, is the Macallan. And taste-wise, you're right there. The only difference is, is this is not unchill filtered and it's bottled at 43%. So it's not really comparing apples to apples. But fantastic stuff as well. This one, it's good. It's very good, but <clears throat> it's not as good as the other two. And for $200 Canadian, there's better whiskey out there. Okay? So, um... I'm gonna give this an A. This is really good stuff. I still have not found my A plus, and I know that's probably annoying a bunch of people. But I can't justify giving the whiskeys that I've tried an A plus when they don't number one strike me so much more than the rest of the whiskeys that I've had, um, and I haven't had the opportunity to have a 30 year old Scotch yet. I haven't had the opportunity to have a 40 year old scotch yet so I think it would only be fair to wait it out and then one day maybe I'll try those and be like no you know what that Glen going 18 year old or that Glen Dronic 21 year old was truly an A plus I might do that one day we'll see but for now this is an A that's a fantastic mark um, if you like this video subscribe below thank you to all my subscribers Every day, I'm getting tons of comments, and that's bringing a lot of activity and attraction to my to my channel, which is much appreciated. Thank you very, very much, guys. Um, if you are subscribed, share the video. See if your friends that are also interested in whiskey would like to have a watch. Uh, there's a whole bunch of videos. I think I'm at 61 or 62 now. I think it's 62 now, actually. Um, so there's a whole bunch of options out there that I've already done. I have more to come. Um, and I, I haven't forgotten for those of you that have asked me to do, you know, the Banahaben 18 or, um, a collection video or any of those types of things, they are coming. I promise you. It's just week to week. It's, I start to notice like if I have a few friends over and I offer the bottle, um, levels drop substantially so I want to make sure that I get the ones that I've bought already out of the way before I do stuff like a collection video or anything like that follow me on Instagram and Twitter using this lovely picture right here uh, at whiskey in the six on Instagram at whiskey underscore in underscore the underscore six on Twitter and on Facebook I'm Rob reviews or just type in whiskey in the six in the search engine and you'll find it uh, I also want to say a huge congratulations to uh, my crew which means my coach 
at M1 Thai Boxing System and MMA. Uh, he recently just got signed to the UFC. Um, he'll be fighting this Saturday at 4 o'clock in Vancouver. He's in the uh, prelim card. So there's some big fights that night. Carlos Condit's fighting that night. Uh, huge, huge honor working with Alex Ricci for all these years. And now he's in the UFC and it's much deserved. So congratulations, Alex. Cheers to all my fans. Take it easy, guys.